that's required right now as the starting 11s enter the arena. You could never have guessed that Huddersfield Town, who finished 20th in the championship last season, would be here a year on. You would never, ever have guessed that Nottingham Forest, who were bottom of the championship in September, when Steve Cooper took charge of them, that they would be here on this day at the end of May. But here they are, and one of these two sides will be a Premier League club come the end of today. Winning the head of Brendan Johnson's there though. Zinkin Arba trying to get involved and Mavi Sarr took him out. It's going to be a free kick to Nottingham Forest. He'll be very surprised if he doesn't get a yellow card as well because Zinkin Arba does really, really well. Just does him for pace and he's going by, he's going in an advanced attacking area. It's a great little touch round him and he completely takes him out. So he's got away with one there. James Garner is the man over this free kick for Nottingham Forest. Everybody back for Huddersfield. It's a great delivery and the header is just wide of the post, my goodness me. The little glance off the head of Ryan Yates and it almost brushed the woodwork. Well, it's a super ball, I'm just looking at the high line for Huddersfield, an easy offside. I think Sorba Thomas is just playing him on and I tell you what, he's got to score. Ryan Yates is in a Advanced area, he's got nobody near him whatsoever. Oh, whether he's just trying to glance at, maybe just trying to get contact towards goal. He gives himself every chance. I think Sorba Thomas did play him onside. That is a left off. Here's now Bissar looking less than comfortable. Johnson. Spence. Johnson. And Bissar away, keeping it from Keenan Davis. And when you look back at that chance, it's a really big chance in the game. Spence. It's a bit short. Well, he did well to win that from Ward, actually. And both sides really working hard off the ball. Nicely right in the corner. Ryan Yates over the bar. Well, that's his second sight of the Huddersfield goal. And well, it's another good chance. Patient approach from Marvin Forrest to Super Bowl in to that area where Yates finds himself in plenty of space. Navi Sarr goes to engage him. He knows he's frustrated. Navi Sarr. Saw the Thomas. Very closely watched by Warrell so far, but he's gone away from him now. And O'Brien's in the middle and he tried to catch Samba out of it. Samba made the blocking save. Here's Toffolo. to Nottingham Forest in the end, that's the first time Sorba Thomas has got away from Joe Warrell. Yes, and I feel he made the wrong choice in my eyes. It's a great ball from Naby side, possibly could have given him a little bit early, it just draws Joe Warrell in and then he drives, he's got to try and pick someone out here, he's never going to score from that. Top by Garner for Spence, to flow in front of him again, Zinkenagel, hop in the right place. O'Brien's making a run to try and get close to Ward, offering some kind of alternatives. And Ward's done really well, actually. Sinani's in the middle. Oh, super challenge by Garner. It's a corner kick to Huddersfield, but it's a great challenge. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, I've got a few of them Forest fans off their seats. It's a puncture, wasn't it, just as he drove into the box. Don't get it right as well. And he gets... The ball, he gets everything, in fact. Saw the Thomas over this corner. Bring Samba on his toes. It's, uh, it's an intelligent corner, which... Oh, got on the end of, and then it flicked up over the top of the crossbar. That's a nice little corner routine. Forrest didn't really read it. Oh, if you just look at Ward, he peels away from everyone. Creates acres of space. A good block in the end, well worked, corner, certainly one off the training field. Garner.
Zinkenaga. Levi Colwell coming very quickly. Keenan Davis. Tom Lees in front of him. Guy. Oh, great ball in again! Yates attacked it and turns away to celebrate. Nottingham Forrester in front. It was a wicked dipping ball into the box. And Ryan Yates attacked it. I think Colwell might have got a bit of it too. But Forrester in front, that much is for sure. Well, 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 well. Did I say it's third time lucky? Because that is his third attempt. And I tell you what, it's a brilliant run. It's all about the run from Yates and the pick out from Ghana. Just point, put it in there. I don't know if he gets much contact on the put might come off. I think it's an own goal, isn't it? Defend that of Colwell, I think. It definitely is. It's not like he just got a little nick on him, but either way, he makes it happen because he makes that run across. We'll see a better angle here. I think he does get a slight nick on it, which just forces the issue. Off lead by Colwell. He flies past Lee Nick. He's got no chance at all, but it's all about the run and it's all about the ball in from Joe Garner. The agony for the young man. Frank Clark, European champion under Brian Clough, and later managed the club himself, of course. I think I'm right to tell you, as a manager, when they were relegated out of the Premier League 23 years ago. Nice from Zinkenagel. Sorridge. That's overcomplicated, but got lucky. Sorridge. Colbert. That was inviting for Johnson and needed Colwell to get in the way. The pace of the game is building all the time. There it is, and because Huddersfield up, no caution to the wind and really had a good go. Johnson! Just needed someone sliding in at the far post. They went there. And it's the first real slip of play we've seen from Graham Johnson. Positive driving it across. Garner. Hog in the way. O'Brien. That's a great one. Dwayne Holmes is in here. The slip from Royal Cup through cross costly. Holmes putting it into a good area. And Chuck Rose caught. in this season's final. I've got to see this, because I straight away thought it was a penalty. And it is a penalty, there's no doubt this will get turned over. Yeah, Colbert's As soon as I've seen it, he's got in front, Toffolo did brilliant, and it's a clear clip. There's no chance of a dive, I'm very surprised. Certainly when John Moss pulled out the yellow card, probably goes down a little bit too easy, but there's contact, he gets a touch away. And if this isn't turned over, I'll be, well, very surprised. It's that trailing leg that catches Toffolo's right leg, so for me it'll be a penalty. And if it's not, I'll be shot. It's not given. Wow. I nearly said I would stand on my head if that wasn't given. And I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm shocked. It's Toffolo. Thomas in the middle, but not there. Right, so a little bit of deflection. Tipper here for Huddersfield Town. Russell wants it. Russell gets it. Finds O'Brien. And another appeal. Low on O'Brien this time. Same response. Tipper's ball in. Up go the heads. And O'Brien's going to go and ask the question of John Moss, but... Just the same. Yeah, we'll see. I don't think this one was. But <laughs> I'll tell you what's a big touch. I'll tell you something now. That's a penalty as well, in my eyes. Well, I think it is in his eyes too. 
Jonathan Hogg. A season which began 296 days ago comes down to the last three minutes. Harry Toffolo for Huddersfield. Holmes, Thomas, Russell and Rhodes in the middle. It's O'Brien! And it's a goal kick to Nottingham Forest. Well, I'm looking in the box and I tell you what, it's an excellent ball and just watch Jordan Rhodes at the back post. If anyone you want in the box, it's the box in the box and that is Jordan Rhodes. And it's just too much for him to get on the end of. It's on the money, but it's got to have someone getting on the end of it and Russell missing it. And Jordan Rhodes, all the time to be seen him appear in the box and just tap them home. The managers exchange handshake. Nottingham Forest are into the Premier League of the Northern Two Decades of Despair. The long road back is complete for this great football club. Steve Cooper has led them from 24th out of 24 in September.